Hey, what do you say? I thought my microphone wasn't on yet. I was looking at the wrong thing. What's going on, y'all? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Oh, you can't hear it. I do that. It's all good. The music's just too loud. But I was just noticing as these guys, this music and their facial expressions make this game feel like it's going to be a little heavier than what it's been so far. Now, granted, the explosion at the beginning is kind of heavy, and that's some you know, catastrophic shit. But for the most part, it's kind of been like no danger. And this old boy's like... And he looks distraught like someone just died and then you got the chick that's crying and then the next dude's fucking just going off and yelling and screaming at motherfuckers like it just seems like more shit was going down just based off those things um alright so we're gonna fuck with these magnets we're heading towards the vault we're under the super collider and um Bennett and no who's staying back Ed and Bennett are staying back. All right, so we have to Sorry, make a follow. detective. Yeah. Follow me. Would you uh, this way? All right. All right. That's where we came out of. Take a look down here. I'm probably gonna need to go up. Let's take a look at the fuse box. The switch is labeled magnet fuse control. Alright, we definitely want to take a look in there. Alright. I just wanted to close the door. I wanted to, you know, clean up after myself. I mean, that's... Alright, let's not forget to throw stuff in our short-term memory. Hey! What's up, Selena? How we doing? Is there anything over this way? No, we can't even walk over here. We, can't. we just had to wait for our old boy to get up here. Alright, so nothing is over here. Switch to deactivate the magnet and see. Okay. So now we switch over to. There we go. Hey, Ray. Yeah. Hey, Ray. Follow me. Can you come here? All right. All right, all right, all right. How are they going to get across? that do? Can we switch? Did that take the floor up? So 
fui... Search the head and release it. And if we switch over to head... And we release that. And then we switch back over here to Ray Ray. Maybe we need to turn the fuse box off. The Ray Ray can't do shit now, right? He's like totally blocked in. Everyone needs to be here together before we leave. All right. We got anything in our inventory? Don't. Let's make this fat fuck do something. Oh shit, I didn't get a drink. that cable in there. So let's turn everything back on. There's, I don't think the memory can help us because there's nothing to use. Okay, what happens if we try and walk this dude under? I don't want to get close to the magnetized so. Alright, so you need to go. We'll, we'll keep you there for now in case we need to mess with the fuse. Oh, is there anything down here for her? Did that do anything to the ground? No. It didn't reveal anything. Warning magnets. the crates. Does she have anything on her? Probably not, right? That's the whole point. Let's empty all of our pockets. I'm 
she can't do anything but release it. This is crazy enough, it just might work. Dude, that would have taken his head off. And I think that would be a little bit, a little more effort. Before we start hitting switches, let's take a look around. All right, all right, nothing here. Nothing to see here. Alright, let's hit the switch. I don't even look at it. Maybe there's no power because we're using it all here? Nothing here before. Dude, he would slide right down that thing. I uh, favor pursuits of the mine over trying to move 50 ton crate. So we can't do anything there. Uh, we, did we turn the power back on? We did turn the power back on. So let's go over here to Anna. Oh, the power is not back on. guys got in their pockets since they got all the goodies. He's got everybody's crap. Uh, password on it, eh, Ray?
So there are magnets here too? I guess not. Detective Bennett. Right. Yeah. What do you think we should do next? I can't walk through the crates when they're on the floor, and I can't walk under them when they're in the air. So the only option left is to go over them. Yeah. How do we get the power? Let's see if something's sticking out on the other side of this one. We haven't checked that. No. Well, let's get Ray Ray back in position. Because Ray or Anna have to be the ones to solve this puzzle because Eddie can't come over this far. Wait a minute. I think I figured it out. I think we clicked the switch down here one too many times. And now I think there'll be power up here. Dude, how scary would that be? That wouldn't get that wouldn't get any easier, I don't think. Like just because that's just like the fifth time we've done it. Like I don't think that he's. All right. So before we throw the switch. Are they all down. Isn't this one, didn't that one fall? Oh, he doesn't have the foot sound. Hey, you. Hi. Follow me. Okay. I will follow you. Hey, sugar. My name's Anna, thank you. That's what I said. Hey, Anna. Let's go. Okay. Let's go.
Hey, Ray. What's up? We're not out of this yet. Come with me. Fine. So someone's gonna have to go back. No, this doesn't make sense because there was no be no way we could get in. Because we can't stand there because all of our shit will go flying into the ceiling. guy down below He just takes it, right? You can't take it off the wall. Put it in your pants. No, it's Grab Ray Ray. What happens if I actually went The switch reset itself must have some kind of safety mechanism. I don't think the bridge is going to retract if there's any weight on that. Climb underneath there. We got everybody to the top on the other side, but we can't get everybody into the door. There's no ladder, so nobody can get down. Yeah. 
I've got it. I think I've got it. All right, so it's still the switch. Let's get head over here. switch and then we're going to turn the magnets on and that's going to suck everything up and I will switch back to Anna and hope this bridge can hold some weight. Ah! Oh, so Anna died. Okay. I guess we were supposed to pay attention to that. Okay, so now let's get him and Ed across. You, Ed. Hi. Would you come with him? Sure. Will you follow me? Is that a song? I don't know where I'm, what I'm thinking of. All right, that's two. Yeah, we just gotta turn it on and walk underneath with these two. All right, yeah, we got this. All right, hit the switch, Ray Ray. I don't, see, I don't know why that hit her that time, but the other times didn't. tedious. Hey, but we figured that out. We can't just walk away. Man, we're so close. I thought we had it. He doesn't have anything we can use in this situation, do we? I 
can't duct tape the rod duct tape. We're gonna find something else to use this way. How do we get everybody across? We need the magnets up and the platforms raised. Anybody have any ideas here? Well, we gotta go back up. drop it on her. We already killed her once. Okay, so Anna and Ray have to be the guy to do this. No, we didn't want to do that. Get her the fuck out of the way. No, we need to throw it first. Close enough to chat, eh? Ooh. 
We're doing one thing with this floor. I just want to see what happens if we throw the switch with her on it. Am I an idiot? That's right, she can't get by here. Why can't she crawl under that thing? about that. All right, and <clears throat> there's no way for us. To get back. What is he at? Do we got any hints? Ray? Yeah. What do you think we should do next? I think we can use both switches to toggle those moving catwalks. We don't have to be on the second level. I didn't think about that. If we turn the power off, it should cut off. Yeah. 
Alright, 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 alright. Now, now I think it's safe to say we got it. Excuse me. Yes. Follow me. Come with. Okay. All right, we were we were right on the money. We were we were getting there. Let's go, now boys. That past the magnets. Can we have our things back? Fine. He said fine, like he didn't really want to give it back. All right, we're gonna find out who the bad guy is, like amongst us. That must be my uncle's vault behind the glass. There are some papers here. Your uncle holds the key. Looks like this is for you. Huh? There's another scrap of paper stuck to the back. He's following me, Detective Winston Bennett. What is this? What are you looking at me for? Detective? The hell? Detective Bennett, were you or were you not following Dr. Morales in the days before his death? No, I had no idea who the old guy was until yesterday. I knew he was up to something. You stay out of this, asshole. That note you dropped last night? It all makes sense now. You wouldn't know sense if it punched you in your damn nose. Ed, Anna, I've put my career in jeopardy to help you guys. Yeah, last night, really? when Ed found you waiting outside my apartment, were you really you just worried about me? Or did you have something to do with that man who was after me? Of course not. Bennett, give me your gun. Fuck you. Give him the gun, detective. Ed? Here you go, Ray. Ed, grab his gun. Now, we didn't give him a chance to explain himself. That should hold but him he when he comes trying. too. Raymond, is he... He'll be all right. I just don't understand. Why would he... Anna, I know this is hard, but it's almost over. The vault is right there on the other side of that window. We need to get that door open and do what we came here to do. Dr. Morales is counting on us. All right, let's take a look at the pad of paper. Do we have a pencil? I wonder if Morales made any more notes on this pad. Yeah, we need a pencil. Does anybody have a pencil? Some sort of fuse panel. Pencil will come in handy. There is a small paper box on the panel. I'll just take this. An LED light joined into a fuse slot. Just light. Stick my finger and it doesn't do much. Alright, what's not mess with the fuses yet? Small code panel to small LCD screen.
is a row of LED lights above a small touchscreen. They are unlit. Okay. Let's go back to the pad of paper right now. You know, we got a pencil. One, three, two, two, one, We're not supposed to like get a, you did it. It's three, one, two, two, one, three, three. All right, Selena, write that down. Oh. I told you to write it down. All right, it's written down. What else we got in here? Should we search him? Let's search him. Maybe something useful might be, uh, care might be useful. We have everything useful. What did we get from him? His badge, credit card, screwdriver, the fuse. That screwdriver probably is going to come in handy. There's no handle. All right, so let's go to the fuse panel. That opened, that turned on the door control too. So what does the light say? A touch, a button, a, a button on a touch sensitive screen. What did that do? That's kind of neat. So close. I've worked so long for this. Can't let anything stop me. What is that supposed to mean? A loose fuse too far to reach. we use to grab it. That's not going to work. I wonder if the pipe will reach it. Let's see if I can reach you with this. Touch it, but not quite pull it back. 
All right, well, you give your pipe to uh, Ed. Ed. Hey. Here you go. Oh, okay. And then what's your pipe and the duct tape? This should do it. I assume we need all the fuses. Damn, this fuse won't fit. Really? Okay, so we're hot. So it's got to do something to three one three two two one three three. Controls to the bars seem to be locked out. There must be another way to get them open. Excuse me. Hi. What do you think, Anna? What do you think? Something about those fuses doesn't look quite right. Oh, they're numbered. Was this number one? Both three? Don't worry about me. Okie dokie, I'm an idiot. Now what do you think about my fuses? Excuse me, Anna? What can I... What do you think we Got should do that. next? The panel needs some kind of code. Uncle Javi... Okay, yeah, we got the code. All right, let's try this again. Three, one, 
three. No, hold on. This is one, this is two, this is three. So it's three, one, three, two, two, one, three, three. I'll take care of him. You two need to finish what we came here to do. Thank you. Your uncle holds the key, Anna. It's your turn now, Anna. You have to open it, and then we'll make the decision together. Ed, I appreciate everything you've done for me. I couldn't have done it without you. But my Ed's the bad guy. Here for a reason. Ed's got the gun too. He's gonna pull the gun. Let's save it. End game. Right, what do we got floating around here? Nothing, just a computer. Welcome, Mena Castellanos Morales. What's your key phrase? Key phrase? It says it needs a key phrase. Your uncle holds the key. Your uncle must have believed that it was something you would be able to remember. You need to think back. The cemetery, your childhood, the last time you spoke to Dr. Morales. There must be something. Something you may have forgotten, but you can get it back. You just have to find it. Stairs, something about the stairs. I fell so far, I can't climb back up. Ooh, I wasn't ready for a scary flashback sequence. Come here, you! She's gone now. She's with the other angels. Is that what he always said? Oh, it's his drunk ass uncle. Dante, get your hands off my daughter. Papa! What have I done? Uncle Javi's Para ti, mi sobrina. Wow, it's like a million dollars. <laughs> not quite. And they're not dollars, they're pesos. I put one in this jar every day I was away. That's 365 of them. It's not a lot, but if you save them, maybe someday they can help you when you need it. Uncle Javi, don't go away again. I'm not going anywhere, Anna Angel. Te prometo. Hey, prometo? That sounds good. I prometo.
Welcome Anna Angel. Video file. To Anna, video is ready to play. Display video. I guess we don't have a choice. You got it? Yes. Open it. There's a video from my uncle. My father. Your father? I need to watch it. All right, but don't do anything afterward. We need to talk it through. Would you let me be alone for this? I... okay. Anna? Let me back in as soon as the video is over. Yeah, why is he being so pushy? Y'all ready for this? I am a weak man, Anna. I failed you, I failed your mother, and perhaps I have failed the world as well. Your mother, I loved her very much. And though she knew she shouldn't, she loved me back. The man you called your father, he knew. He always knew. He took out the anger he had for me on you. And when I tried to protect you, I went too far. I had to leave, to hide. The police suspected I had something to do with his death, and I... Oh, no shit. I was a coward. I broke my promise to you, Anna. It was a lie. When you needed me most, I ran away. But I could not run away far enough to escape my sins. I'm being followed. I know they want resonance, and I know they mean me harm. I do not think I will live very long past this day. My last act was to be to put an end to my research, but as I put my finger to the button, I realized that I could not do it. I was too old, too weak, and too corrupt. This power, resonance, could save the world, or it could destroy it. This is as poisoned a legacy as any I have given you, Anna. The choice is yours, to save resonance or to destroy it. I hope you will forgive me, my Anna Angel. Anna? Anna, what did he say? Let's talk about this. Can you just open the bars? Anna, let me in. We can make this choice together. We can't save it. You don't have to do it alone. What are we doing? I think we destroy it. We can't destroy this technology. Humanity can use it. We can fulfill our potential. This is our future. We can't deny mankind this gift. We're gonna, if this is the very Tell end, we're gonna play through it again, and not again, again, like all the way, but we're Anna, gonna load our save game bars. and open it. Anna, please open the bars. No, stop! Anna? Let me back in as soon as the video is over. Ugh. Ugh. Looks like he's coming too. Okay, so this is from the other side. All right. Who do you work for? Ugh. Ugh. The fuck? Answer the question. Who's pulling your strings? You hit me, you asshole! And I'll do it again if you don't start answering questions. Who do you work for? The Aventine City Police Department. You're not smart enough to have planned this all out on your own. Flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Then explain that note. What note? We got this note. Is this it? Oh, it's been its letter. Can we do this again? Last night, in the baseball field, you dropped a note. Hey, it is acting crazy. Was following you. Get rid of him. Was that from your boss? Were you that figure it all out? Part. If I were a bad guy, you figuring things out would be the least of my worries. Check my shirt breast pocket, unless that's too complicated for you. 
We searched him already. It's the letter I dropped. You didn't read all of it. It's from a friend of mine, five years ago. A reporter followed him around for a while, saying it was for some bullshit day in the life of a policeman story. Turned out it was for an expose. Unceremoniously outed the poor bastard without warning or permission. Ruined his career. No commendations, no promotion, no nothing. You know the way things are these days. No one wanted him on their squad. He'd been a high flyer too. That's why he went along with the story. He quit one day, vanished. Think he's up north somewhere. I still keep it close. He was a good, a good friend. So, you're... Maybe you didn't understand the moral of my story, Raymond. It's no one's damn business but my own. Now, untie me? This doesn't change anything. That Kinda letter does. wasn't the only unexplained note we've come across. Explain the note from Dr. Morales with your name on it. Why would he call you out by name? I don't know. Maybe he didn't. Maybe it was planted. So your argument is that someone went out of his way to set you up? Out of his way. For what purpose? Out of his way. I'm waiting. Out of his way. That's it. What? Why didn't I see this before? Someone did go out of his way. Far out of his way. What do you mean? Ed could have attached Come on, that note Jimmy to Jimmy Olsen. Back. Connect the dots. Figure out the story. Let me in. Anna, please. Try harder. When did they go out of their way? How can I show they did? Is it Ed and Anna at the hospital? Ed told me that he and Anna met on the subway on their ways to work. That seems too much of a coincidence. Getting warmer. Could Ed have something to do with that DNA database? Nah, that's not it. Keep going. Try harder. How can we prove he went out of his way? Subway map? There must be a clue on the map here. Oh, right. There's no way Ed would be riding the same subway as Anna in the mornings unless... Unless he was going out of his way to insinuate himself into the life of the only person who could open the vault other than Dr. Morales. Ray, untie me. Anna, please open the bars. No, stop! Anna! You shot her! Ray, close the door. You shot her! Ray. Dude, Anna just got her fucking head blown off. I can't believe she's... This is your fault. My fault? You knocked me out, tied me up. I could have done something. God damn it, he used my gun. Well, maybe if you hadn't been acting so shady to me, I wouldn't have had to... I'm gonna kill you right after I kill Ed. No one's killing anybody. Not again. Why are they saying you blew up that lab, Bennett? What? And why are they saying you killed a girl? That's Joey. Hey, Laura, I didn't forget to say hi, I think, but hello. Who is saying these things? The chief. We were in the middle of a briefing, business as usual. 
The chief gets a phone call and suddenly she's putting a bounty on your head. You and your journalist pal. He's no pal of mine. And this is bullshit. Somebody must be pulling the chief's strings. How'd you find us? I tracked Mr. Abbott's beginning. cell phone. But I haven't called anyone. I can track it as long as it has that SIM card in it. A girl? They said you killed the science guy's niece to keep her quiet about you blowing up the lab. Did that just happen? How did they find out so fast? So it's true? Of course not. But something weird is definitely going on here. Reg, you know I didn't do those things. Tell me, how do I know that? We were with him. Reg, when that lab blew up, I was with you. We were on that stakeout all night, shooting the shit. You know I couldn't have had anything to do with it. I know, but I don't understand. It's this case. The lab, the vault. I don't have time to tell the whole story now. But it ends with Morales' assistant, Ed, killing Anna Castellanos and stealing a new super weapon called Resonance. Super weapon? We've got to find Ed, and we've got to do it fast. It's bad, Reg. Help us. I got orders. Remember what I said the other day? Sometimes you gotta make your own orders. <sighs> I can cover your tracks for a while, but the Chief's got everyone out looking for you. What's with this Chief? She's been acting weird ever since she started trying to keep Bennett and me from staking out that post office in Edgetown. That stakeout is somehow connected to this resonance stuff. How's that? Back alley door, is that it? That shifty-eyed guy we saw in the stakeout was also after Resonance. Shifty-eyed guy? Yeah, the guy who stole Tortoise's files on the vault. The guy in the security cam picture? Yeah. That's no coincidence. No. I followed it up, though, and I just found some Oriental lady. Oriental is not... She gave <laughs> me a paper swan. An origami crane? Whatever. Well, then you're going back there. Why is that? Because just before the Chief sent me out looking for you, I found an origami crane on my desk. Yeah, they I have, have no clue where it leader. came from or why it was there. I guess that means I'm getting some traction or something. I'll keep the Chief off your backs. You two get over to Edgetown. Wait a minute, who's giving the orders around here? The one of us who isn't a wanted man. One more thing. Mr. Abbott, you keep that fancy phone around, you won't make it half an hour. Ditch your SIM card and use mine. They won't be looking for it. Thanks. Call me if you need help. We can't call you. Reg. You're welcome. He doesn't have a SIM card. We stick together, got it? Is this gonna be a buddy cop thing now? Yeah, you're the naive, annoying one. Hey, Nibbler, what's going on? You just missed some crazy shit. Crazy shit. Alright, so let's take a look at this paper crane. It's a haiku. Once for, now to stand, to open door, bearing mark, and seek audience. For an entrance, never a good idea without a SWAT team right behind you. This is where that mope hides out, and that Chinese lady. I just need to remember the secret knock. Secret knock? What is this, some kind of clubhouse? One, two, one, two, three. 
We didn't get another gun. Once four, now two stand to open door during mark and see the audience. Four and two? XI. Yeah, okay. It says I, I. What are we missing in this haiku? So it's got to be door 11. Now two stand. What does that mean? One what? Knock once? <laughs> See, you call yourself a Futurama fan. So just knock once? Is that what you're saying, Selena? Or Laura? You know what? Yeah, that might be right. Let's go. Wait, are you sure we're not walking into a parlous situation here? Parlous? Why the hell do you talk like that? Come on. <laughs> Why the hell do you talk like that? Detective Bennett, Mr. Abbott. According to Reno here, you're 17 seconds late. Sorry for the shabby digs, but we need to keep a low profile for now. We've got a friend in common, Tolstoy Eddings. And I think we both want to figure out where he is. But I'm sure you've got questions, yeah? Is he British? Who are you and how do you know who we are? I like you, Detective. No beating around the bush, just business. Answer my question, or I'll beat you around this room. I think you're in enough trouble already. No need for more violence, right? My name is Amul Batra, and this is my colleague, Reno. Ooh. We're collectors. Collectors of what? Information. It's our business to know everything. Everything? Everything. Why are we here? So you sent for us. We came. Why? You're here because the universe is a self-correcting machine. And until recently, Ed was a reliable, predictable cog. But now he's gone off the rails. We need replacement parts. Enough with the metaphors. Get to the point. We both want the same thing. Tolstoy Eddings needs to be brought to heel. We'll point you in the right direction. So you were working with Ed? With him? <laughs> no. We had an interest in resonance. He had an interest in resonance. So we took an interest in him. That's all. Did your interests include killing an innocent woman in cold blood? We did not kill anyone. But the entire Aventine police force seems to think that you did. Maybe something can be done about that. What is Ed I will arrest him. To upset the machine. We believe he plans on setting off another resonance device very soon. I don't understand. He seemed to think resonance should be for the benefit of mankind. Why would he use it to blow things up? He did just kill Anna. He's not the most rational guy around. 
Unfortunately, even Reno here didn't foresee Ed's betrayal until it was too late. And she sees everything. So what? She's supposed to be some sort of psychic or something? There's no magic to it. The universe is controlled by laws. Everything from the planets <laughs> orbiting around the sun to the fire. I mean, there's a the baby there, Laura. That's kind of gross. Brain of yours. It's like some call it a machine, snuff film. Call it fate. From initial state to end of days, everything's already been decided. And with enough information, anything can be predicted. And that is why we collect information. All of it. All of it. Wait. Did you say your name is Amu Batra? You're a Batra, the guy who's been emailing me. You are the Eleven Foundation. You know this mope? This guy has been feeding me scoops, like that one on the Vice President wanted me to write some articles buttering up his cause in exchange. Cause? Increasing government surveillance powers in the name of anti-terrorism. Seriously? I knew you sounded <laughs> shady, <laughs> you so I did some checking also. up on you, a mool. You and your Eleven Foundation are behind that DNA database and a Vorta. No point in denying it, and you took full advantage of it. That may be, but there's no way that thing is legal. It's only illegal until it isn't. That's What's true. that supposed to mean? Yeah, middle. Antivorta isn't a pressing matter at the moment. Yes. I should place both of you under arrest. On what grounds? It must have been you who sent that thug to scare Anna. You've got no evidence to back that up. He's got me there. Some hard evidence tying him to a crime. The other night, I saw you enter this alley after leaving the post office. And? The post office is a known front for dropping off contraband goods. Wouldn't know anything about that. I was sending cookies to my dear old grand in Newcastle. Like hell you were. Can you prove otherwise? Mm. There we Get are there. then. I got a surveillance photo of you robbing toward a security. Oh, here we go. Red -handed. I, uh, bollocks. I thought that camera was off. Tortoise knows his stuff, all right. I'll give him that. I know, I know. Still, good luck getting Mr. Tortoise to press charges. He'll never admit his place was robbed. He's right, you know. Shut up. Hold on, I need a drink. Right, hang tight. Alright, that's like a commercial break right there in the good stuff. So what did you want with Tortoise's files on the vault? As I mentioned, we are collectors of information. And resonance is what? A trophy for your wall? No, it's much more than that. We want to see it put to good use. But our motive shouldn't matter to you. Ed's going to set off another resonance device very soon. You need to focus on stopping it. Why did she slip me that vault file yesterday? You needed a nudge. We gave it to you. We did need a nudge. Cut to the chase. How did we stop Ed? 
Start from the beginning, the initial state, and extrapolate out. Exactly where did this all begin? The explosion at the lab. It should be easy to determine where the resonance devices that killed Morales were placed. But they could be anywhere outside the lab. You can find the distance between two resonance devices by the size of the blast made when the particles snapped back together. I acquired the formula and used the measurements from that hole in Morales' lab. The particles must have been placed four kilometers from the lab on either side. That's it? If you need more than that, you aren't the right men for the job. Reassuring. Let's wrap it up, lads. Don't bother coming back here, we'll be long gone. After you've stopped, Ed, you'll see us again. Oh, and before you go, I have a little present for you. Hopefully a new gun. What was that he handed you on the way out? A compass. So we can find north? No, a drafting compass, like you get in high school geometry. What do you think about those guys? I don't trust them. Everyone seems to only be interested in resonance. But they do want to stop Ed, and that's at the top of my list of things to do today. Let's just figure out where those resonance devices were placed so we can follow his trail. So we're going to have to use the drafting compass with the subway map. Where should I place it? apartment had one of them there. No, that can't be a coincidence. What did we figure out? Yo, detective. Mm hmm? See? I guess we're going to Ed's apartment. Why they wouldn't let us just go. The style is very student digs with a touch of crack house. <laughs> this is not an apartment. It's a staging area. Chosen for its proximity to the target, not for its... Allure. He must have been planning this a long time. Here's the resonance device, right as he left it. Um, should you stand so close to that? Camera the tripod, device is labeled 14B. The cheap born cabinet. Let's search the place. So Ed left some of our stuff here. Taking all of it. I'll give Ben and his credit card back. 
Pretty much everything. All right. This is it. The resonance device. Wait. It could be booby trapped. Don't you ever stop to think before you charge ahead blindly? <laughs> Boom. Asshole. Blogger. <laughs> it's in the mini fridge. Completely empty, apart from one jar of cocktail onions. I don't want to cook anything right now, particularly in that infernal murder of the cuisine. Doesn't even look like it works. Let's look for his phone. I don't want to write through old socks, and that's absolutely necessary. I think alarm clock? No style at all. I think I can manage to stay awake for now. I don't know if I had exactly heard of laundry. There's no time for sleeping. Not exactly is a subdurious neighborhood. I don't even think we could go in here to begin with. No, not die of black mold poisoning. It's too high for me to reach. Let's get a uh, old boy in here. How do we do this now? Let's throw that in the short term memory. And we hey, you. To him. Yeah. About them? No? Okay. Well, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do we need to do? Why would Ed attach a phone to a resonance device? He told me earlier that he needed a trigger to activate it. A cell phone would fit the bill. I think we need to take a closer look at that phone. There's a cell phone connected to this device. It's marked 14B. Check the call history. There's no history of any calls being made or received. There's a text message from a few minutes before the event in lab. It says 1500 14B delay release. It's from a phone called 14A. Phone number for Residence Vice 14A. Hold on, so we got a phone. Stop Ed, all right, nice goals. Should we try calling 14B? Are you calling me? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Hmm.
We can track it as long as there's a SIM card if we call Reggie, right? Right? That should work. Hello? Reggie, this is Ray. Is Detective Bennett all right? Yeah, he's here with me. What do you need? Reggie, I've got a phone number I need to have traced. You can do that, right? I can't. Chief's got me tasked. But the tracing equipment's at Admin HQ. If I can clear the front desk for a while, should give you enough time to trace some phone numbers. How will you do that? I'm going to pull the plug on Oink's favorite toy. It should take him a while to figure out where the problem is. Sounds like a plan. Let's get the hell out of here. Or do we need to do something with that light? Yo, detect. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he says. He said he's going to the what police What do you station. think we should do next? The tech room is to the right of the copy room, but it's always locked. Is there a key? For the outside there is, but I don't know who has it. On the inside there's a high security cage. Is the locking mechanism controlled from somewhere else? Seems like overkill to me, but you might be right. Okay, looks like we're going to the police station. Nobody seems to be around. Yeah, it's quiet. Let's keep it that way. Maybe it's not locked. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm a cop. Oh, that's right, we're wanted. Yeah, but there's gotta be a way in. I don't want to draw any attention to myself by breaking glass. Database error, check connection, and restart to touch to continue. Issue APB. So we gotta go find the serial number with that lock. Oh. How do we get the serial number? Hmm. 
Dude, I really thought this game was almost over, but it's probably not even close. I'm not going down there. Not with Ray anyway. Phones can't do anything with that. What I'm gonna do is manage the lock magnetic lock manual override inner serial code. After three late payments, I've been careful how I use this thing. got anything we got he's got nothing if we use the, the sonograph thing on the lock it used to see inside something but what it's not gonna open the door I don't think it's gonna help me reach my goal. You know, it might. Pretty well. Call the tech room? That's not a phone number. You're not a phone number. Hmm. I know I don't need to go in there, but maybe I want to go in there, right? Johnson, an honest cop, unfortunately. Already hacked that. I can't get there without the cops seeing me. Hmm, this works in movies. You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, now we need to probably get this lock. There's a lock on it, a combination 6363, all right. See, why do I gotta go buddy buddy? Why can't we just go by ourselves? Like, he would have known.
I have no idea what any of those things do. That might, might be useful if I knew what any of it did. Well, maybe this guy does. Very scar, I think. Not really in my department. I don't think I need any of that. Well, oh, that's a computer. Lots of flashy lights, noises. Let's fuck with it. Need to use a terminal. Back about 15 years ago, resources bought 20 years worth of floppy disks. They're all still here in boxes. Stealing off supplies really isn't my thing. I've used this thing before. I hope they haven't canceled my password yet. I can trace the phones using this computer. What shall I trace? The computer traced it to a plum and supplies warehouse near Juno Labs. Any idea how we can get in there? Who we need to break in? Should be easy enough. I'll flash the badge around and say we're looking for contraband. Doesn't anyone ever ask for a warrant? Shh, don't jinx it. We find where Reggie's at. That's it. This is the place. Come on, Jimmy Olsen. Let's look around. That's it. I can't take it anymore. What's your problem? My problem, detective, is that I'm a reporter. Jimmy Olsen is a photographer. We're nothing alike. <laughs> so, I guess I should just call you <coughs> Lois Lane instead. You know what? Jimmy Olsen is fun. I'm a dick. So I need a key to turn it on. The lay a locker is labeled Todd. Steve Frank. Let's read a sticky note. The note says Todd. Did you leave the forklift key in your locker again? Which one was Todd? We gotta find it. Without the key and the combination, we're not getting through this thing without a blowtorch. Where's the... he got in here. Now I have a key or another combo to that. I'm not getting out of this way.
It's just not going to work here. I don't want your draw, I don't want you to pick the lock with it. I don't think my credit card's gonna help me here. Well, what do we have that we could stick in the vent that would help us? over here. He's got his shoes down there. It's got something to do with that hole right there. Douchebag hang on him. Whatever it was used for, it's just a phone now. what we do, Laura, but what do we use? Ray. Hey. Got any ideas? That tech room at the police HQ sure has a lot of sweet toys. Do you think they'd notice if we grab one or two things? Everything in the tech room is cataloged and monitored. If we took anything, it would have to be something they wouldn't notice. All right, back to the police station. Uh, hang on tight, guys. I gotta go tuck the kid in. I will be right back. Let's get to the police station now. Hang tight for me.
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, back to the tech room. I don't want you to steal them. I want you to just move them out of the way. I, I just wanted to steal the office chair. tools. Oh, I thought he was doing something. Hey, detective. What do you want? Get this shit out of the way. All those high-tech toys? I feel like a kid in, well, a toy store. Don't touch any of it, Jimmy. I'm warning you. What? Where'd you get into more trouble than you already are? Yes. When I clear my name, I still want a job. See you. Hmm? All those high-tech toys? Don't what? Yes. Yeah. What are we doing here? I'm drawing a blank. Any ideas? No, you can't steal anything from the tech room. What? I didn't say anything. No, but you were thinking it. Come on. Something small. Who would even notice? Well, I guess if it was very small, but only then. What is very small that we can steal in here? Where is that magnet? There it is. There's a magnet on here, but it's no good. It's attached too well to fry off by hand. I mean, you got a screwdriver, don't you? I screwed the magnet from the lock. Now that we just go back, Yo, what's the next? What Any idea? Do you know how to hotwire a forklift? What? That will need a key. Probably. All right, let's roll back. I want to know if Ed kills Anna. If we decide to keep the stuff. And then we get to play with her at this point. As well.
How does that stay in there? Oh shit. Oh, we wanted to do that probably. No, we didn't. Stuck right there. Just jam it right up in there. No. There's something else we can do first. I'm not 100%. Good night, Selena. Thanks for popping in, as always.
I forgot you were even here, Nibbler. You've been quiet tonight, homie. So that would be too easy, right? Alright, there's no way to turn the magnet, so we're just... It's... I'm gonna look up a hint on this, because I don't know. The trick is to attach the key to the left directional arrow of the magnet, which then makes the quest straight, quite straightforward. Seriously? <coughs> Got it. And then do we just start this bad boy up? I think I'm supposed to put the dude on here. What is this dude? You're going for a lift. Hope this forklift can handle the weight. Shut up and get me up there, Jimmy. Well, I'm not doing anything until I'm all the way off this thing. Is 
But he definitely doesn't have any thing on him to Split up again. They're such a fine as they are. Let's go take a look at the pipes. Too dark to see in here. Let's have him call the other phone because I bet it's in one of those pipes. Got Just it. as we suspected, there's another resonance device here. B. Check the call history. There's a text message from a few minutes before the text line. It says 1500-14B. It's from a phone called 14A. Selfish prepaid. Can we just leave with Ray and they'll just come down? Where do you think you're going? Oh, we got a comedian. Oh, <laughs> got a fucking comedian. I think we might call it a night here, guys, because I don't want to um, play for five minutes next week. Actually, we're probably going to beat it Thursday. Because we don't have uh, work on Friday. See if we can go track that burner. It's no good. I can't trace it. Why not? The signal's too weak. Could be the location he's in or some kind of interference. What can we do? Call it. If that is Ed's phone, hopefully he'll answer. As long as he's talking, we might be able to trace the signal. I'm calling him right now. Got it. I'm ready. Just keep him on the phone as long as you can, and I'll need a couple minutes to localize the signal. Why? Ray? How did you get this number? Why do this? Ray, I'm sorry, there isn't enough time to explain. Sure there is. Is resonance worth it, Ed? You don't get to talk about resonance. You know nothing about resonance. 
I'm only asking you. Shut up. Ed, what is all this about? Forget it, Ray. You just wouldn't understand. Try me. I said forget it. Why'd you do it? So why'd you do it, Ed? You think I wanted this to happen? You fired the gun. The device was in your apartment. You tell me. I'm not going to tell you anything. Damn it! He hung up. Tell me you traced him. No. I needed more time. Do you think you can get him back on the line? Not a chance. He's probably ditching the phone right now. There goes our only lead. Well, shit. It's like life is strange now. Let's just save it right here, guys. And call it a night. We gotta keep him on the line. So, appreciate everybody coming out. Laura, Selena, Nibbler, the bots. Appreciate it all. But drop them likes if you haven't. Drop the subs if you're new. I'm out.